In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to take the first of several looks at using subtitles in the subtitle room. One of the things that confused me at first when I started using PowerDirector was what is a subtitle? Now, I'm going to drag over this picture to show you what I thought it was. Here I thought the word ham was my title and the Anything in a smaller font, anything subsidiary or explanatory, would be a subtitle. And I suppose you can use the word that way. But when you get into the subtitle room, you're looking at something very different. So I'm going to drag over here, over to this picture of the band and the parade. And we're going to look together at a little bit about how to put a subtitle in your project and the kind to choose. To get to subtitles, you simply go to the last icon, the very bottom one, and click on Subtitle Room, or you can press the F12 key. Now, a couple things happen when I click there. First of all, a new track opened up above my track number one. And if I right-click over here, I see now it says Show Subtitle Track. You can turn this on or off. But the minute you go into the subtitle room and activate it, if this track isn't already there, it will turn it on for you. One of the first decisions you have to make when you're going to use subtitles is which type do you want? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, let me click over here on this button here. It's a, the second one from the right, and it says select the kind or type of subtitle you want. In some versions of PowerDirector, you only have the bottom choice, and you can always use this one. It simply says, create subtitles in printed on a video file. What this means is that the subtitle will be superimposed on everything else, and in the finished product, um, there's nothing that the viewer can do to make it go away. However, if you have the right version of PowerDirector, and you export it in the right format, you can use the top option, though you don't have to. This is create subtitles for disks or files. Now the difference here is the file format. And I'm going to drag the mouse, I'm going to click on OK, we'll use the more common option. But when I drag the mouse here, I put a title here of the four formats that you can use. If you produce it in one of these four formats and you pick the top option if that one's available to you, then something special happens. When the title is played in most players, you can click on a button and turn the titles on or off. With a more common option, the, the second one on that initial screen, you can't do that. So that's one of the pluses of doing it that way. But if you normally don't produce in any of these formats, um, just pick the bottom option. The second thing I'd like to show you how to do, once you decide whether you want option A or option B here, is to decide how you want to place your titles. One of the easiest ways is simply to move the scrubber and then click on the plus icon at the bottom of the subtitle win a room. And I click there and it creates a blue box. It gives a marker for my subtitle. I know the start time, I know the end time, and I can double click over here to put something in it. We'll do uh, this is a, I can do A right, subtitle. Now if I press enter, it will enter a second row. We'll get into editing later, but I'm just going to click off of it and then move the scrubber and we see that this appears in the default font and the default location. We'll show you how to change those later. But this is a simple way to put a subtitle in. So you move the scrubber and you press on the plus key. But there's another way you can do that. If I want to right click on this, I can cut it off. And let me show you another way. If I have a clip, and I know I want to use quite a few subtitles, the easy way to do it is to start to play the movie. And when it's playing, the last icon on the left, the one I have the mouse over, whenever you click on that, it will drop in the 
subtitle track, a marker indicating this is where I want a subtitle to go. So let me do that. I'm going to hit the space bar to start playing this. And then I'm going to click in this location here. And I dropped a little T. And then I'm watching and listening and I say, oh, here's a good place for one over here. And then as it moves forward, I'm monitoring the clip and I click again on the button and it creates another one. And I can hit the space bar or the stop key and immediately it turns all those markers into placeholders uh, for my subtitles. Now once I have a subtitle on the screen, whether I use this method to put it on or just moved over here and hit the plus key, I can go ahead and I can edit it. I can change the duration with the mouse of the subtitle or I can go up here and change the start time, end time and accomplish the same effect. And I can also, if I want to take one out, I can highlight it, hit the minus key and then it will go away. So those are the ways in which you can start putting the subtitles into your projects in CyberLink PowerDirector. In the next exercise, we'll show you a little bit about formatting your subtitles. And uh, we have some other cool things in line. Thank you so much.